OK, get ready to come face to face with the horrors of the past and learn how they can haunt the present in the world premiere of Albert Beltz's new award-winning work, Cradle Song. Actors Amanda and Donna Reese join us to tell us all about it. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. It is really nice having you here. Now, we last had you here, and I can't believe it's been so long, two years ago, I know. Uh, to talk about <laughs> Sister Anzac, which was a play celebrating Kiwi women who went to war. Mm. And Amanda, you directed Donna in that production. That's is that right. right? I did, I did. But yeah. this time you're both acting. We're both Performing together. Performing together, that yep. sounds good. So tell us a little bit about how it all works. The play itself? Yeah. Well, uh, we've heard recently in Tuam, in, in Ireland, where they uncovered all those baby deaths and awful. things like mm -hmm. that. So we know that there are a lot of those. So now, now well, this is 2000, or on the cusp of the millennium. Mm. A Kiwi and an Australian friend set off on their big OE. They travel to Ireland, a slightly fictitious place that Albert's created, and end up in a convent staying in a gardener's cottage. The convent has closed, though, just yeah. to add to the spookiness oh. of it. So, right. All right, so it's a convent where there are only two nuns left. So we're yeah. sisters playing sisters who are not sisters. In real life. <laughs> <laughs> we're sisters as in... As in yeah. not entirely so they all. come to stay there, and as it turned out, the nuns are not happy about them coming to stay at this particular particular time of the year because... For a very good reason. Ooh, OK. Spooky, scary <laughs> stuff. But the amazing thing in the, in the first evocation when we're at the church in Corbin Estate is that you are, as an audience, tucked in in the actual church where it all takes place and you're in traverse, so you can see... Locked the, in. Locked, locked in. in. <laughs> and you can see the audience opposite, which always really adds to the horror. Yeah. And the things unfold, and so we're flashing past you this close and things are happening, it's like, what is that noise and what is happening? So the whole thing is, you're encapsulated as much as the two OE visitors. Oh, it sounds terrifying. Yeah. So it's fantastic. Set in Ireland, um, your sisters who are not sisters who We're are sisters. We're convinced of sisters, <laughs> yes. As in so, so tell us a bit more about your characters. As in the, the characters themselves. Well, she would have find it very difficult to talk about her character because she's taken a vow of silence. Oh. <laughs> very easy to She will mind. speak eventually. <laughs> eventually, near the end, I do speak. But yeah, l largely I'm quiet. And the reason I've taken a vow of silence becomes right. obvious. That must come with its own challenges, though, because one of the great tools of an actor is the voice. Yep. Yeah. And you, don't, you suddenly don't have that. Yeah. No. And so, yes, you've got your eyes and, yeah. and, and, and you mm. react very much and I think part of the intrigue as an audience is watching two people who live together let be honest uh, people who take uh, nuns take a vow of silence do actually have two hours a day or an hour or something a lot of they can speak oh god right. can you imagine that so yeah no. so yeah she'd be very bored <laughs> um, yeah, would be. but watching the unspoken communication and because you're as close as we are mm. now is incredibly interesting mm. and what's it like working together on stage as sisters I mean you've obviously worked together in the past we've done it a lot and the um, as performers together yeah. yeah and the amazing thing is that you pick up on each other's timing really quickly like you don't have to rehearse it as much as you do with with another, uh, someone who's not your sister mm. because you're just used to how the other person works and what that specific timing is which is yeah so it's fun Besides, when we were kids, we bored our parents senseless with those <laughs> tedious shows. <laughs> Make them pay. Yes. 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 <laughs> There's lots of lollies. <laughs> so tell us about the playwright. What's, this is obviously a, a fabulous work from mm. him, but what, mm. you know, what's his whole thing? What's, what's Albert done well, for? He, he's quite an experienced playwright. Yeah. I worked yeah, with something of him quite a long yeah. time ago, um, to Karakia which we took to the Dreamtime Festival in Australia, which was fantastic. Um, so he's, and he's done, his last really spooky one was Yours Truly, which was about Jack the Ripper. Um, but this one, he came across the story of Tuam and mm. went, I'm really angry with the church and I'm really angry with the government. So his slant is way more subtle and interesting than immediately blaming nuns or sure. the people in, you know, that, that there was a greater political force. Mm. Which is something we're all terribly aware of these days. Yeah. Yeah, what political forces come down and the pressures. Mm. And in my research, watching the pressures that the nuns are under from the church, um, the, you know, we've heard yeah. lots of abuse stories, and, but also lots where the, the nuns are not treated that well. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. So who else is in it? Uh, there's a couple of, there's a young actress that's just come out of Toy Fakari, Ariana, um, playing, one, playing a, um, the Kiwi. Um, and then there's Briar, who's playing the Australian, young Australian woman who's travelling through. And then there's 
um, at one gardener or brother, actually, who's, who lives in the village and comes up to the convent. Brother, brother. Brother, brother. Right. Just a brother. Brother, brother. But he's not actually, literally, it's brother <laughs> in the store. Oh, in real life, nothing new. I am so confused. I'm not aware of that. Come and see the show. Exactly. It's it's be I can almost envision it as a movie as well. It sounds it is, fantastic. It is evocative filmic. like that. Really yeah, filmic, yeah. yeah. Mm. Excellent. Hey, well, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Pleasure. Thank Terrifying you. Terrifying and confusing. A cradle song plays as part of the Koanga Festival and going west from Wednesday until Saturday at Henderson. Corbin Estates Arts Centre. It then plays at Q Theatre later on this month. You can check out iTicket and Q Theatre for ticket details.